Hi again, me. So we're now gonna try and do some writing. So remember I told you the reason we learn all of those sounds is so we can read them together in words and then we can put the words together that make sentences. That's how we get really clever. So we're gonna use those sounds, put them together and write little sentences. Now, if you look at the pictures that I've sent you, there's some little pictures at the top. You can choose which picture you want to write about. Okay, and then we're gonna write some sentences together. Now I know mums and dads at home maybe find it a little bit tough on how you support um, the writing of sentences. So I'm gonna try and break it down and we'll do a little bit together. And then if you're really confident, you can go off and have a go by yourselves. Okay, so I was looking at one of the pictures and the boy in the picture looks very cold to me. So when we're writing, we have to think first what we are going to write. If we haven't said it, we're not gonna be able to write it because that's how we get really muddled. So, I want to write, he is cold. So, I have to say it again to myself, he is cold. How many words is that? He is cold, right, so I know there's three words. So when I write the sentence, I have to take each word at a time. So I'm gonna say it one more time, he is cold cold. Right, I've got my pen ready. I'm ready to write the first word. He. It's one of our red words. He, he, he. So, we write he. He. He is. So if you remembered that one. I'm not going to write it right next to it because it's a new word. So I have to put in that finger space. He, finger space, I, is, he is, he was cold, wasn't he? Because he's in the snow. So finger space again. K, k, k. Oh. D. Always have to go back and check to see if you've got it right. He is cold. Now we had a little chat just before Christmas I wonder if any of you remember what that little thing is at the end to show people what we write when we finish writing. It's called a full stop. If you would like to use my sentence, you may copy my sentence or you can think of your own. I'll write one more if you need a little bit more help or if you want to write along with me, okay? In another one of the pictures, I saw a lovely little robin. So. I want to have a think about what I want to write again. Hmm. The robin is red. Yeah, that's what I'm going to write. So, the robin is red. Now, how many words has that got? Let me sound it. The robin is red. It's four words this time. So, it's going to take a bit more concentrating. Okay, so, the robin is red. Let's say it one more time. The robin is red. I'm ready. First word, the. It's one of those red words again, isn't it? But we're good at this one. The. T. E. The. The. Finger space. Robin. Now, Robin, I think, is actually written on the top of one of your sheets, but if you're not sure, you can sound it out. R. O. B. I. The robin is. I, s. We've already written it once, we know how to do that one. I'm going to check because I've forgotten the last word. The robin is. It was red, wasn't it? Red. R, e. Round his bottom, up his tall neck, down. D. Full stop. The robin is 